Welcome everyone in this today's class for BBA for Structure 01 Introduction 011 How to begin BBA for SAP 2000 version 23 Here BBA stands for Visual Basic Application and in our case we will be using Microsoft Excel BBA Microsoft, sorry, Microsoft Excel Visual Basic Application for SAP 2000 version 23 that is our latest version of SAP uh, 2000 software or application uh, ok as I have already installed my software that is Microsoft Excel and SAP 2000 version 23 uh, I will go to the folder where I have already installed my software SAP 2000 so I will go to my local disk C then uh, to my folder program files then computers and structures then SAP 2000 version 23 okay in this folder I will source one documentation file that is very very important documentation file for uh, API that is application programming interface okay uh, the file name is uh, OAPI I will just search this file OAPI then I will get one file CSI OAPI documentation file ok this file OAPI what does what what does this API mean uh, API mean uh, application programming interface that means SAP 2000 can be accessed graphically by using uh, keyboard and mouse that we do generally by using the keyboard and mouse that we access SAP 2000 in general purpose besides that uh, we can also use programming in order to access SAP 2000 for example we can do um, modeling in SAP 2000 we can do analysis we can do design uh, we can do extract results from SAP 2000 or we can modify let's say property values and many more everything that we do generally we do in graphical interface that is by using keyboard and mouse but besides that we can also do the same thing by using programming and this course that is our course BVA for structures it is all about how to do uh, BVA that is visual basic application in our uh, structure or uh, structure engineering software like SAP 2000 it apps but today we will be discussing about the SAP 2000 version 23 okay let me just open this uh, documentation file uh, in this documentation file um, uh, we can see like release notes getting started how to start uh, like how to start uh, accessing SAP 2000 from an ex external sorry, external application how to okay similarly we have different uh, uh, basics of programming like function return values uh, unit abbreviation and more okay we will just ignore this uh, for our today's beginning class we will just directly go to this example code okay in this example code we can see the example 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to 8 we have VBA VBNet C sharp uh, Intel Visual Fortran uh, we have the Microsoft Visual C++ 2002L MATLAB Python Python com Python net but in our course uh, we will be just discussing about the VBA for the uh, we will discussing about the VBA for the Microsoft uh, Excel MS Excel so this we will go to example 1 VBA ok example 1 VBA remarks this example is written for visual basic application it can be run from a program like MS Excel it is a it is based on the SAP 2000 verification problem example 101 uh, this is the verification problem uh, this example creates example verification problem such as sorry this example creates the example verification problem from scratch run the analysis extract results and finally compare the results with the hand calculated values okay uh, what are the steps uh, first we need to create one VBA project after that we need to add a reference ok we need to add a reference that is uh, from this file the file the location of this file is C program files computer structure SAP 2023 it is 22 but we should search for uh, the folder 23 
and we have this SAP 2000 version 1 dot TLB this file we should add as a reference in our PVA project uh, we will see how to do that also okay uh, modify the part as appropriate for CSI bridge uh, similarly we, we are doing for the SAP 2000 if we are doing for the CSI bridge then we need to do the similar process uh, that means uh, we need to uh, add a reference like this for uh, CSI bridge also but there will be some slightly difference regarding the name of this folder SAP 2000 we may have CSI bridge or something like that okay uh, and then after that we will just um, create a new module okay we will just create a new space or new module then we will just copy this sub module this SUB means sub module similarly like function let us say similarly like function this is a sub module we just copy this okay up to this in sub that is the termination of this sub module that is the in sub we just what we do okay we just copy this from this sub to in sub we just do the right click and we just copy it okay uh, now we will open our excel application okay this is my application excel application uh, in this excel application what uh, okay we can see the tabs like file sorry file menu we have the home tab we have the insert tab uh, page layout formulas data review but for visual basic application we need to have one more additional tab that is the developer tab uh, for the visual basic application uh, okay in order to get that uh, developer tab what uh, we will go to this file menu then we'll go to this options and in this option we have this customized ribbon and in this customized ribbon we can see the tab like home tab insert tab page layout similarly we have the draw tab but it is not checked okay similarly we have this developer tab we just check this developer tab and just click ok now we will get one additional developer tab okay in this developer tab we have different uh, let's say button or command like visual basic uh, macros record macros macro security uh, user forms and using this insert co controls properties view code and more okay in order to start our vba code we need to we just click this button let's say visual basic or we can alternatively we can uh, use alt plus f11 in order to run this visual basic button let's say okay after this we get this microsoft visual basic plus for application that is vba visual basic for application that is vba microsoft visual basic application book 00 sorry book 1 that is the name of our excel file or that is the name of our workbook that is book 1 okay uh, here we have the visual basic book one that is book one that is the name of our workbook similarly we have the microsoft excel objects and we have this sheet one and we have this this workbook this sheet one there is only one sheet that is sheet one in our workbook so there is also there is because there is only one sheet one so there is also there is only one sheet one a microsoft excel object okay what we will do is we will just go to this workbook and we will just paste okay we will just paste the code we have uh, copied it from the OAPI documentation file we have just copied it and we have just paste uh, it in this our what this workbook okay now if we now uh, we have just paste the code now if we run this uh, sub module then it will not work it will show the compile error user define type not defined because it is because we have not created the reference of this sap 2000 for this visual basic application in order to add the reference what we need to do is we just go to the tools we will just okay before that we will just click this button that is the reset button then we will go to tools and we'll go to reference references and in this references we have different uh, references for visual basic application project like 
for example uh, we can see acrobat that is the pdf reader writer we we can add this reference also if we want to write the programming for this acrobat or so we can just add these references similarly we have different for let's say stat or etabs or tecla or more or, or simply say autocad similarly what we need to do is we need to search for the sap 2000 uh, if you go down we can see this sap 2000 version 20 but we are, are not using sap 2020 we will be using sap version 23 so there is one sap 2000 application programming interface api v1 and we can see the location c program files computer structures computer and structure sap 2023 okay this means we need to select this reference not this one this one is for the sap 20 but this one is for the sap 23 and we are using sap 23 we are going to use sap 23 so we need to use we need to add this reference and we just click ok after that now i will again run the code uh, it may take some time uh, okay Now we can see um, the um, our code is working and it is opening a SAP file and it is creating some model doing analysis and finally it is giving some output like uh, SAP 2000 independent and percent difference that is this is from SAP 2000 these are the values calculated from SAP 2000 these are the values that is calculated independently, independently manually and this is the difference we can see the difference is 0, 0, 0 percent uh, we will just ignore what it is doing uh, because in this today's class uh, we are learning or we are just beginning the steps we need to follow uh, for the vva ms excel uh, to access the sap 2000 okay uh, this much is for today um, or for this much is today for this today's class uh, thank you everyone